Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder caused by the body's immune response to gluten. We will discuss its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment, as well as related issues like osteoporosis and malignancies. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition triggered by eating gluten in those genetically predisposed. HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8 molecules bind gluten and present it to T cells, activating CD4 plus T cells and releasing pro-inflammatory cytokines. These cause inflammation and damage in the small intestine, with antibodies against TTG also playing a role. T cells play a key role in celiac disease. Gluten exposure leads to the formation of demodated gluten peptides, which activate CD4 plus T cells. Activated T cells release pro-inflammatory cytokines, recruit immune cells, and trigger the immune response. Autoantibodies against TTG and endomysium are diagnostic markers. Celiac disease can present with a wide range of symptoms and signs. Common clinical manifestations include diarrhea, steatorrhea, fatty stools, abdominal pain, bloating, weight loss, and anemia. However, it is important to note that some individuals with celiac disease may be asymptomatic or have atypical presentations, such as dermatitis or pediformis, a skin condition associated with celiac disease. The diagnosis of celiac disease involves a combination of clinical evaluation, serological tests, and histopathological examination of small intestinal biopsies. Serological tests, like the EGA anti-tissue transglutaminase TTG, antibody test, are important for diagnosing celiac disease. They detect EGA antibodies against TTG in blood samples. If EGA deficiency is present, IG-based tests like IG antitage or IG demodated gliadin peptide DGP, antibodies can be used instead. The gold standard for diagnosing celiac disease is the histopathological examination of small intestinal biopsies. During an upper endoscopy, multiple biopsies are taken from the duodenal mucosa, and these samples are examined under a microscope for characteristic histopathological features. The main findings include villus atrophy, crypt hyperplasia, and an increased number of intraepithelial lymphocytes. To standardize the histopathological assessment, various scoring systems, such as the Marsh-Oberuber classification or the modified Marsh classification, have been developed. These scoring systems help in grading the severity of histological changes and aid in the diagnosis and monitoring of celiac disease. In the context of celiac disease, it is important to differentiate it from other gluten-related disorders like wheat allergy and non-celiac gluten sensitivity NCGS. Clinical history, serological tests, and evaluations like oral gluten challenge help in making accurate diagnoses. A gluten-free diet is essential for managing celiac disease. It requires avoiding gluten found in wheat, barley, and rye. Adherence to the diet promotes healing, symptom relief, and reduces complications. However, following it can be challenging due to cross-contamination and hidden gluten. Patients need education, dietitian support, and ongoing assistance for a good quality of life. Celiac disease is associated with various extra-intestinal manifestations, highlighting its systemic nature. Dermatitis herpetiformis, DH, is a chronic, blistering skin condition characterized by intensely itchy rashes. DH is closely linked to celiac disease, with the majority of affected individuals having gluten-sensitive enteropathy. Neurological disorders, such as gluten ataxia and peripheral neuropathy, have also been reported in association with celiac disease. These neurological manifestations can occur with or without gastrointestinal symptoms and are believed to result from immune-mediated mechanisms. Prompt recognition and management of these extraintestinal manifestations are essential for improving patient outcomes. Osteoporosis, characterized by low bone mineral density and an increased risk of fractures, is a well-recognized complication of celiac disease. The mechanisms underlying the association between celiac disease and osteoporosis are multifactorial. Malabsorption of nutrients, including calcium and vitamin D, as well as chronic inflammation and altered bone metabolism, contribute to the development of osteoporosis in individuals with celiac disease. Management strategies for celiac-related osteoporosis involve a combination of a gluten-free diet, calcium and vitamin D supplementation, weight-bearing exercises, and pharmacological interventions, such as bisphosphonates. Celiac disease is associated with an increased risk of malignancies, particularly lymphomas and small bowel adenocarcinoma. Lymphomas, including non-Hodgkin lymphoma and enteropathy-associated T-cell lymphoma, EATL, are the most common malignancies seen in individuals with celiac disease. The risk of lymphomas is significantly elevated in untreated or non-responsive celiac disease. Small bowel adenocarcinoma, although rare, is another malignancy that has been associated with celiac disease. 
Regular follow-up and surveillance are crucial in identifying these malignancies at an early stage to improve prognosis. Non-responsive celiac disease occurs when symptoms and villus atrophy persist despite a gluten-free diet. Causes include continued gluten ingestion, other digestive disorders, and refractory celiac disease. Treatment involves dietary evaluation, patient education, and, in severe cases, additional immunosuppressive treatments. Regular monitoring and follow-up are essential components of the management of celiac disease. The assessment of treatment response involves evaluating clinical symptoms, serological tests, and repeat small intestinal biopsies. Improvement in symptoms, normalization of serological markers, and histological healing are the expected outcomes of a gluten-free diet. Additionally, close attention should be given to potential complications, such as osteoporosis, malignancies, and nutritional deficiencies. Adequate counseling and education at follow-up visits help patients to better understand their condition, appreciate the importance of adherence to a gluten-free diet, and actively participate in their long-term care. In conclusion, celiac disease is a complex autoimmune disorder with various symptoms and potential complications. Healthcare professionals should understand its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment to improve patient outcomes and quality of life. Regular monitoring and follow-up are necessary for comprehensive care.